Today, I'm going to show you how to whiten teeth in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on the all new redesign, flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, uh, we're getting we're getting in there, it's gonna get a little gritty today. We're gonna show you how to whiten teeth. And in order to do that, we had to find a picture of uh, not so white teeth. So <laughs> be prepared for that. But this is a really cool episode. I'm gonna show you a really simple way where you can actually whiten teeth. And it's a couple of steps. I'm gonna show you how to fix the color of the teeth first. And then we're gonna show you how to change like the underlying brightness because teeth, they, they're like, they got a lot of depth and they got a lot of layers. So we're gonna show you how to change the underlying brightness and then I'm gonna show you how to change like that light sheen that's on the top of the teeth. And at the end, we're gonna throw in a little bit of uh, liquify tool to fix the teeth as well. Let's get into it, it's gonna be a cool episode. All right, so here's our image for today. It's from photolia.com and uh, we got a lot of work to do on these teeth, but we're gonna make them great. It's not gonna take a lot of time. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make a good selection out of these teeth. Basically, I, I need to know what I'm gonna be altering. So I'm gonna grab my lasso tool, which is right up here at the very top. And with the lasso tool, I'm just gonna do like a, basically this is like you just trace around, you know, whatever you wanna make into a selection. And I'm doing a really quick job here. You're gonna see that, you know, this doesn't have to be uh, like, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time on this. The whole idea is like, let's do this, you know, relatively quickly. You can always go in later. We're gonna make this into a layer mask. So you can always go in later and alter your layer mask. This is just like a pretty good way to get started. Okay, so we've got the teeth pretty well selected. If you need to change it, you can hit shift. That's gonna give you a little plus sign next to your lasso tool. You can add more to your selection if you wanna do that, just like this. If you've got too much selected, you can hold alt or option and you could minus out an area if you needed to do that. So you don't have to completely redo your entire selection. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is refine the edge of our selection. So let's go to refine edge up here or you can go to select down to refine edge. All right, there we can see that's our teeth, beautiful. Uh, let's just go ahead and bring the feathering up a little bit so we want a little bit more of a smooth edge there. There we go, something like that looks pretty good. So let's hit okay, and that's our selection. Now what do we do with this selection? Well, we're gonna turn it into a layer mask, and then I'm gonna put that layer mask on a group, and then we're gonna put a couple layers inside of that group. So how do we do that? Well, we need to start off by making a group. So let's make a new layer, and then hit Command or Control G to group that with itself. Okay, so now that we have a group, we're gonna click on our layer mask button, which is right down here. So click on that button, and here you have the selection that you just made is going to turn into the layer mask. That's how it works. If you have an active selection and you click the layer mask button, it's gonna turn into a layer mask every time. So here's the layer mask for this group now. So everything I'm gonna do is going to be inside of this group. You can see, if I were to just grab a brush tool and paint green, <laughs> I'm just doing this to show you. I'm inside of this group. This layer, you can see it's bumped over, right? This means it's inside this group. If I were to just paint green in here, there you go. It's only gonna show up wherever the teeth show up. That's why we made the selection and the group. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna tackle is our color. And to do that, we're gonna use a hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'm gonna go to my adjustment layers here, and we're gonna go down to where it says hue slash saturation. Okay, and I'm actually gonna click on this colorize button. Now it's gonna start off making my teeth look really weird, but teeth do have color. If you just make these completely desaturated, it's gonna look weird. You want like a pretty desaturated, like yellowish orange. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it, it's super simple. So just take your hue slider, basically you can just drag this all the way to the left. You can see blue teeth, you, you don't want any of that. We're gonna drag this all the way to the left and then just come to the right just a couple more. Just like a number, let's just say number 10. There we go. And then your saturation, obviously, that's a little higher up. You don't want that, but you don't want it zero either because this is gonna look weird, right? So I would recommend bringing this somewhere around, you know, anywhere between 15 and 20. There we go. So there's our before and the after. Already we can see really done a nice job just evening out the color of our teeth. All right, that's a lot of our work done for us. Now we need to take care of the brightness. And we said earlier that Teeth are really made up of, you can see there's a lot of layers. There's like the front, like the sheen on the top of the teeth, and then there's what's going on deep, like inside of the tooth. So we're gonna start off inside of the tooth and work our way forward. So the inside of the tooth, what I'm talking about is like this area right here, where you can kind of see through it and like, you know, that area and, and this. And then the sheen would be like, you know, the actual, the reflection here, okay? So let's start on the deeper layers. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my adjustment layers again. We're gonna go to curves. 
So a new curves adjustment layer, and I'm gonna click here in the middle and just simply drag this up. Okay, now this looks horrible right now because it's applying this brightness basically to everything. We need to make sure this is just visible where the teeth are actually a little bit darker, and that's what we're gonna talk about. That's the inside of the teeth. So to make it visible only where it's dark, what we're gonna do is just double click right here on the outside of our curves adjustment layer. So right here, double click, and you're gonna get this layer style dialog. So I don't want this to be visible where the underlying layer is lighter. I only want it to be visible where the underlying layer is darker. So to get that done, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, and we're gonna click on this little slider here. So Alt or Option, I'm gonna click here, and we're gonna drag this from the right to the left. And what this is basically doing is telling this layer to not be visible where the underlying layer is lighter. So I'm gonna bring that from all the way from the right to the left, and we can kind of play around with both of these sliders. So let's play around with this one as well and kind of see where that works. All right, basically you can see, if I bring it too far to the left, you can see this darkness start to come back in the teeth, right? As I bring this closer to the right, you can see the teeth kind of fill out, but it's not affecting like the overall brightness of the teeth. It's mainly just affecting those little darker areas. Again, so this is kind of like what it looked like before, and here's kind of filling in those darks. And you want it to go just about the point where the teeth look a little bit more full. All right, there we go. That's the darker area of the teeth. Now, if there are any areas like this area, you know, I painted a little bit more on the gums, not a big deal. Just click on your layer mask and you can just paint black or white on your layer mask with your brush tool. And that's going to either include or not include any of these areas in the selection. So you can refine this at any time. Like I'll just paint black right over the lip right there and we're good to go. Okay, because I placed all the adjustment layers inside of the same group, I don't have to keep layer masking over and over and over again. I've got one layer mask and that's working for all of my layers. Okay, so we've got our hue saturation. We've got our curves, which is the dark areas, and now we're gonna take care of lightening the light areas. So this is actually really cool. I'm gonna grab my marquee tool, and we're gonna just basically make a marquee right around all of the teeth. We wanna make sure this includes everything. We're gonna hit Shift, Delete, and Fill with White. Okay, now the reason it's only visible where the teeth are, again, is because it's in this group, okay? If I hit Shift and click on the layer mask for this group, you can see this layer is larger than it seems. Okay, there we go. Now with this layer, I wanna do the same thing with the blend if, only this time I'm gonna make it not visible where the darks are. So double click on this layer, okay? Hold Alt or Option and then go from the left to the right. And now this time, because we're painting with white, this is just gonna be that like gloss that's on the front, on the top of the teeth, okay? And you wanna kinda of start, both your black sliders go almost all the way to the right and then you wanna just kinda of drag this to the left. And you can see how this time, Instead of filling within the teeth, it's looking like it's building that sheen on top of the teeth, which is really, really cool. And you can basically go as far as you'd like with this one. You can go, you know, make it look like the teeth are way more bright or not as bright. Just as long as you do this in a couple layers, there we go. You can even play with your opacity here because it's gonna help the teeth not look flat. It's gonna help give them dimension. So you can see this is the lighter area and this is the darker area. All right, looking good. Now, as far as making teeth white in Photoshop, we're done. We showed you guys how to do the color and how to do the lightness, both on the highlights and in the shadows. But I'm not done yet because I want to do a little bit more to kind of work on the smile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close down our group. Let's just look at that before and after, see how quick that was and what a big change that made. Now, if you wanted to go in there with a clone stamp tool and get away little details and anything that's between the teeth, that's totally up to you. What I'm going to do is we're going to create a new layer, then we're going to hit Shift Option Command E and that's gonna make a stamp visible layer. So basically it's just a layer copy of everything you see. Next, I'm gonna to go to filter and we're gonna go down here to liquify. And I'm just gonna straighten out these teeth just a little bit, nothing crazy. We're just gonna straighten out some of the irregularities. So like this tooth here, for instance, kinda of just sticks out a little bit too much in that direction. So we're gonna grab our forward warp tool. Okay, I've got my brush size. It's about 480 pixels right now. I'm actually gonna change that really quickly by holding control an option and clicking the dragging to the left or the right. And we're gonna be using different brush sizes here. Your density and your pressure, we're gonna have those both about 60. All right, and basically what I wanna do is choose a brush that's relatively on the small side and we start clicking from the left and we're just gonna drag this in and it's going to kind of fix out that slight irregularity with our tooth. And we're gonna do the same thing here with this tooth as well. Now, I'm not masking or anything like that, so keep in mind, you know, these results are not gonna be perfect, but if you're just trying to do like a relatively quick job, this is a great way to do so. 
All right, let's make this tooth just a little bit longer as well. Great, that's looking pretty good. And then her smile, you can see this tooth is being covered up on the top and this tooth is not. So it's, this arch is a little bit larger on that side of the smile. So we'll, we're gonna make a larger brush and I'm just gonna click here right in the lip and just kind of pull this down just a bit. All right, now if you wanted to do a perfect job with this, I would recommend getting in there with a clone stamp tool and masking and everything like that. I'm just doing a relatively quick job. So visually, it's gonna look a lot more symmetrical even though we're spending almost no time on this. All right, and let's pull her lip up to make up for what we just did. All right, let's hit okay. There we go, and there's the before and the after. So I didn't make a huge change there, but you can see the mouth is a lot more symmetrical there. All right, let's take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before and the after. Guys, thanks so much for watching today's episode. I hope you like learning how to straighten and whiten teeth in Photoshop. Just remember one key thing is make a group and then put a layer mask on that group. That way you can create a bunch of different adjustment layers in that group and they're all gonna be visible in the exact same place. If you like what we're doing here at Flurn, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can just click on the screen and do that right now where you can receive free Photoshop and photography tutorials every single day week. And if you have an idea or a question about today's episode, please leave it in a comment down below here on YouTube or on flurn.com. We'd love to hear with you. For, for what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the outro. <laughs> share flurns with share flurn with your friends. We'd love it. Thanks so much guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone. Whew, I nailed that outro. Champion. I'm a boss, king of the world. They should hire me to make Photoshop tutorials. One man making Photoshop tutorials. Whitening teeth one episode at a time.